Okay, good morning to all of you, students. Today is the first class about the after the vacation. So today I am going to discuss about what is the basic concept of entrepreneur. I have prepared sixteen slides for today's class. So let me first come to the first slide. That is, this is the outlines. Entrepreneur, entrepreneurship, need of entrepreneurship, characteristics of entrepreneurship. and qualities of entrepreneurship so now i am going to second slide who is an entrepreneur this is the definition i have given an entrepreneur is an individual who creates a new business bearing most of the risk and enjoying most of the rewards that means suppose we are going to start a business as a entrepreneur you have to face so many challenges without facing challenges you cannot start a new business that is the first characteristics you have taken the risk to start a business for that you have to arrange so many resources like your land area how much you can invest in the first business enterprise how you can utilize all the resources how you can implement all the techniques procedure how to control your subordinates those are working under you then you can become a good entrepreneur next that is next slide what is entrepreneurship that means when you start a business there will be so many resources you have to arrange first of all you have to arrange the funding without that is the main without funding you cannot start a business it is depends upon you how you can arrange your funding after getting the funding then you have to make the land and area you have to you have to reserve the land and area where you can start your business after that what is what type of products you are going to produce that you have to decide because it is a predetermined objective without proper objective you cannot start a business so before you starting a business you should predetermine your objective what type of products you want to produce and how that can be implemented and how that can be produced for that you have to arrange so many things like human resources your materials raw materials technique procedure everything you have to arrange then you can start a business easily otherwise you cannot start a business that is known as all this process is known as entrepreneurship so now i am going to the third slide that is need of entrepreneurship why the government is needing the this type of entrepreneurship because nowadays there is very less job market you cannot find job either in the government sector or in the private sector for that the government has established many lending institutions who can provide funding to the person who wants to be a entrepreneur for that there are so many organizations are private banks are there lending institutions are there through that funding through that the, the entrepreneur can get funding to start a business that is the first things then increase profit that mean this is the determination or the objective of the entrepreneur that mean he wants to start a business means he should get more and more profit without profit the business cannot be a that is the first objective to get more and more profit through that business second point is the employment opportunities nowadays there is no job market is very very less in the private organization as well as in the government organization this is the opportunity they can provide the entrepreneur can provide to absorb many people in that particular business that mean in a business there are so many departments they are there marketing departments human resources departments finance departments processing department for each department they should have very good personnel that requires for that they have to appoint different types of students to engage in that particular enterprise that is the job opportunity
So next is your provide innovation. This is another requirement for entrepreneurship because when a students or any person they want to start a business or enterprise, they should have some innovative idea because without innovative idea, they cannot start up a business. That is why innovation is required. Thinking is required to start a new business for the first time. Next, lifeline of a nation. No country can progress without the entrepreneurship. That is why nowadays many government organization and private organization are giving loan to the enter entrepreneur for starting a business. Because nowadays every person is facing problem to getting more and more funds. In this regard, the government has given more institution that can provide funding to the entrepreneur. Then develop entrepreneurship. That means nowadays there is job market is very, very less. Once a person is starting a entrepreneurship, that means other will be motivated. Then they can start their own business by seeing that if he can do, I, I can do it easily. For that more and more people will be interested to start a business. That is known as develop entrepreneurship. Next is your impact on community development. Once a business has been started, started in that area, many things will be developed like market, school, colleges, sanitary, everything will be developed. As a result, that area will become more and more crowded. So in this regard, these are the advantages. Next, provide innovation. Promote research and development. That means if a entrepreneur start a business through the entrepreneurship, so many ideas and research can be developed because in the competition market, everyone will be due for competition. So each and every entrepreneur, they should start and innovate more ideas, more techniques, so that they are able to stand for a long period. That way more research methodology can be utilized and can be developed. Next, ability to take risk. This is another thing. If a person will not able to take any type of risk, he cannot start a business. So he should be ready. If I start a business, risk will be there. That may be come from the competitors, that may be come from the government. So in that case, he should be able to take different types of risks during their business. That is known as your ability to take risk. Then innovation. That is also different ideas can be developed. Everything can be developed so that he can able to produce products according to the demand of the customer and that products will be, will be in the very good quality. So in that case, more developed techniques machines can be implemented in that particular enterprise. Then features of entrepreneur. That is the first point. Leadership. Once an entrepreneur start a business, automatically the leadership quality will be improved because he will face many challenges, many risks for starting a business or during that business. In that case, he will be out, he will be more and more friendly with the atmosphere. Whatever problem will be arise, he can easily tackle that decisions and they can start a business without facing any difficulty. Because nowadays the government is changing all the rule regulation day by day. Based on that, he has to face all the challenges and, and should be ready. Whatever challenges will come up, he will be overcome. In that case, he can take any type of risks. Open-minded. Open-minded means he should be always be contact with the government rule and regulation. Whatever information will coming out related to their business, that he will be accept. And according to that, he can change his decisions and start their business for implementing all types of resources. Then confident and well informed. That means he should be confident. Suppose. A student or any person want to start a business, he should be confident, not overconfident. He should be confident because nowadays all the competitors are there in the market. Based on that, he has to do the business for a longer period, not for a shorter period, maybe 10 years, maybe 15 years. For that, he should be always up update 
and should gather the current information given by the government institution or by central government or by state government based on that he can modify his decision and they can start their business next flexible flexible means once he start a business whatever problem will be arises based on that he can change his mind and change his techniques immediately so that he cannot be stop their business and can be last for a longer period then creativity that it is one type of innovative idea without a creative nature a entrepreneur cannot start his business for a long period so he should have a creative nature innovative idea because based on the requirements of the customer he has to produce that products so that it will be satisfy by the customer if they will satisfy more and more products will be sell in the market so the in that regards he can get more and more profit so that is known as creativity initiative initiative means once he start a business he should take all the initiative like arrangementing of funds land area recruitment everything he has to take the initiative if you take the initiative then it will be supported by their subordinates so that easily he can achieve with their objective then qualities of entrepreneur hard work hard work means he should not be ideal whatever things are there he should be hard work from morning to evening he should be with their business so that his supporter or subordinates will also very serious to do all the activities or assigned work which given by the entrepreneur for that enterprise that is he should be more and more hard worker the organize organ means he has to organize everything all the resources like starting from funding area what type of product they have to produce according to the demand of the customer he has to arrange and organize everything because he is the one boss of that company whatever decision will be taken that all the subordinates the risk taker that is also another features of or qualities of entrepreneur because once he start a business that he has to compete so many competitors are there in the market so for that he has to be stand for a longer period and continue his business at least for 10 year or 15 years that if whatever risk will be coming out that should be accepted by the entrepreneur based on that he can proceed his business and there will no breakages or any stop in that business in that case that will be continue more and more that is the then clarity clarity means he will be well informed one he is informed properly then he can guide to the subordinates clearly because he is not informed properly he cannot guide his subordinates so based on that if he is clear about the idea then he can guide properly to the subordinates then qualities of entrepreneur commun commitment that mean commitment means whatever commitment he has given he should fulfill by that day suppose say i am giving you example suppose is giving that this product will be launched in the 3rd july of this month that should be there that is the commitment anyhow he has to produce that product by july 3rd that is his commitment next competence An entrepreneur should be a man of competence which include knowledge and information that mean he should have more knowledge and more information should be gathered current information he should be gathered from the government level or from the any from the company in the market so that he is able to collect all the information latest information related to his business once he is getting all the information then it will be easy for him to continue the business for a longer period then self confident not that is not over confident self confident he should have how to talk with the government level official how to talk with the subordinates he should be confident self confident not over confident once over confident means he lose his business within a short period of time so he should be confident in the every aspect related to their business 
then this is the most important things that is cooperative that he should be very friendly and cooperative whatever problem faced by his subordinate he should go to that particular person and friendly will have what is the problem then they they should rectify those problems or overcome this problem then easily then they can be continue so this is the last of that is the thank you and the next class i will start another topics for your through the slide presentation thank you